Definitely. And what are some of the aspects or things that you, you spoke about solution, which is very important because there, um, there are so many problems out there and people just try to get into things because they want to get into it. They want to make money, but they're not actually looking for solutions. And probably that's why they're not getting money. So what are the sectors that you think they can get in, which is going to be profitable for them? One of the biggest problems Africa is facing is poverty. You want to make any, and it's been easy to fool a lot of Africans with scam because Africans are poor. That's why it's easy to bring up something, any Ponzi scheme and everybody jumps to it because we're broke. If we can be using technology to be solving that problem, it's going to be very, very easy for us to be able to uh, grow tremendously within our business. If you look at Maxwell Technologies, our own method of solving that problem precisely was through training. And when I always tell people that uh, the training part of Maxwell Technologies is not, uh, it's, it's, we are not coming to compete with schools, is because we advertise our training programs as a program where you come into, and at the end of the day, you can actually be able to make a living for yourself. Our biggest That's competitors are the travel abroad programs. Everyone wants to travel abroad, fall bush. Why? Because there is poverty here. There are yeah. no opportunities here. Yeah. And why are there no opportunities? Because the people who have the skills cannot find those skills useful here. The companies which are here cannot find the skills useful. And even if you want to even uh, go on your own and solve problems and then maybe make a living out of it, the skills you've got are not adapted for those problems. So that's the biggest place everybody should be tackling, if you're asking me. Mm -hmm. Next thing Africa is going to be facing, Africa has got a lot of infrastructural problems. If you get uh, technology which is moving into, which is leveraging on infrastructure, you'll be able to boost tremendous, you'll be able to boost your, 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 your technology and your business tremendously. We just need to be looking at those problems that our societies are facing and then we be solving those problems. We've got a huge mobility problem here. We've got a huge problem of skills here. We've got a huge problem of, uh, of livelihood here. The living standard is really poor. We've got, uh, we've got huge class stratification. We've got huge problems of governance, transparency, and all of that. Mm -hmm. Every problem, every technology scale solution which can look at these problems and solve them, I think it should be something, the kind of areas people should be looking to get into. Definitely. Don't send voice notes. I'm not going to play them. Um, wouldn't we have much time on the program? So I, I cannot, I'm seeing a lot of voice notes. I cannot play that as we go on. It, there are too many. If you want to take a lot of them, we're not, we're not going to be able to meet that. So um, let's talk about Maxwell's uh, technologies. Like, uh, what time people? What time can people come in for registration? Is it, does he have a particular time like every other school? Because I said you, I know that you guys are just you're not focusing only on training, as you say you're not competing with schools, but you have a process. So. It, can people just pop in any time, like mid here, like start of here, or we know schools go back in September? Is that when you take your recruits, or you, you any time you're ready? If I'm ready today to have some kind of training to get into that sector, then I'm moving. Uh, it's Maxwell Technologies is very peculiar. I, we don't look at it from the perspective of a school because that would be very deceiving. Now mm -hmm. that would be uh, telling ourselves that it's going to be a start time and an end time. Mm -hmm. Maxwell Technologies is a company that is looking for skills to be able to use following the vision of the founders of that company mm -hmm. because the skills which the society has provided to us we do not find them very well adaptable yeah. to our to our situation they are skillful no doubt but they are not uh, really adaptable to the way we envisage growth in technology to be happening so what we do is that we take those skills be you somebody who's been to school and completed uh, IT or whatever we take you and then we train you based on how we believe w us as a company are supposed to be growing. And then if you look at that perspective, it means that we are not going to have a batch or uh, an opening date where mm -hmm. everyone is going to come. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you come, we take you one-on-one. -on -one. You're one-on-one -on -one with an instructor okay. because you are diff every human being is different. Every student is different. We cannot carry all of you and put in the same class because like there's someone who is fast, cool. someone Definitely. who is slow. Someone who is lazy, someone who is not lazy, someone whose IQ is higher than another person. Mm -hmm. Now, the fast student is going to be slowed down by the slow student. The slow student will be forced to go too fast by the fast student if all of them are put in the same classroom. So we put you guys in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Whenever you come, whether you've got two hours a day to work or you've got 10 hours a day to work, that's up to you. You want to go fast, that's up to you. You want to go slow, that's okay, up to you. Okay, so, so the, 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 the choice of the classes is actually you. you. You have probably 12 hours a day and they ask you to choose. Do you want to do six hours per day or you just want to do 10 hours and then you come back the next day? Um, I really like you not to think of it from the perspective of classes. 
okay. from the perspective of work. <laughs> so okay. we don't really have classes. Okay. There are no classes where you're going to go in. There is work. There are tasks which are going to be given to you. Okay. There is a little training which is given to you to be able to execute certain tasks. And then those tasks are given to you. Okay. Now, the way work happens in IT field today is you do not necessarily need to be in the office from morning to night in the IT field. You could actually be a very good IT worker and you work two hours a day and you execute all of your tasks, whether remotely or on site. We have a lot of people hiring people remotely. So it's really not going to be classes. It's a very, very peculiar situation of you meeting with your instructor one on one. We've got a very good platform which we built. Whenever you want to have a discussion with your instructor, you're going to have that. When your training is finished, you're actually going to be placed now on internship within the company and you're going to be building okay, within real, the company. Yes, within the company. And you're going to be building real applications and real um, technological solutions within the company. You're going to be executing our projects, our company projects. And all of that is going to be going to your CV. You're going to be having on the job experience. When anybody comes and tells you they need two years experience, three years experience, you've already got it. Yeah. When they say you must have worked on three, four, five projects, you've got those three, four, five projects on your CV. And then now you're not learning from a book. You are learning to do and you are actually doing those things as you are learning alongside uh, your instructor and then your internship supervisor. So it's a training program, but it really, really, really is totally different from any school learning program. It's a very, very much work-based uh, approach that we are using. Which is working so far because uh, how the reactions from people? From the trainees that have come in and probably because right nowadays uh, there are students who go to school, we have all these private universities, they said after that they are going to find internships, but they don't do that. Like when you come after that, they send you out to companies to go drop the letters, wherever you're taking fine, if you're not taking fine. But the fact that you say you, you do the internships in there, because people always come with one five years experience. We want, where are you going to get that five mm, years experience exactly. when you have not? <laughs> it's, it's complicated. So um, with that, are you, with that approach, are you people? having more people coming in for that uh we uh i think we hit the 100 trainee last week wow it was a target we had put for ourselves before the before the year ends mm -hmm. fortunately we've hit that and because we use technology to train because we use a lot of technology to deliver the training mm -hmm. our we've got a training platform which uses behavioral science to be able to analyze the student and uh instruct the instructor that you are supposed to follow the student based on this way the student is responding. It's really amazing what we're doing. Most of the students who see it, to be honest, if they're the ones talking to you, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna see how impressed they are by the platform. So we've got those trainees coming in. We believe they are very, very, very extremely satisfied from the testimonials they are giving, mm -hmm. from what they've been able to execute. And as a matter of fact, this platform is being built and continuously being developed by these students. And every client we are going to be working on, every single client we're working on, we're a B2B company, we work on really large scale projects. All of the students work on this project. These are things that they could never believe. Mm -hmm. For some of them who've been there for three, four months, they could never believe that they could actually work on something like that. But because we deliver the training within a perspective that it's very easy for them to be able to grasp, to be able to comprehend. Why? Because the concepts are being illustrated on the field it's very easy for the students to be able to execute them. Now, there is something we always say. We always criticize uh, school for one thing. I'm just going to give an example of how our training goes. We criticize school for saying that uh, we're learning parts of a grasshopper. But I believe school was teaching us parts of a grasshopper, not because we should master those parts, but because almost everything in nature follows the same architectural pattern. pattern. Yeah. So if you want to build technology, and we are not looking at how the hind leg of a grasshopper works for that grasshopper to be able to hop, and then fly and take off. We are not looking at the, 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 the entire aerodynamics that Grasshopper is using. How on earth are we ab going to be able to make things which can hop, which can fly? Mm -hmm. It's going to be difficult. But if you are teaching the student how to build a Grasshopper there, and after, sh sorry, uh, the parts of a Grasshopper, and after teaching the student the parts of a Grasshopper, you actually brought a machine that looks somehow like a Grasshopper. For example, a helicopter with the propellers. Mm -hmm. Uh, or uh, maybe a robot which actually executes like the robots in the in the car manufacturing factories. If you look at the robots in the manufacturing factories like Ford and all the rest, you're going to discover they've got a lot of limbs, they've got a lot of uh, a lot of the structure of animals. We are going to understand now why we were actually observing the grasshopper to actually see how it was moving. And that's how we move from theory to actually bring it to you and show you in practice. Now, if we're telling you that we are teaching you logarithms, we are teaching you simultaneous equations, we are teaching you circles, we are teaching you squares, we tell you now that in real life, this formula which you learned, this is how it gets applied 
in whatever it is you're going to be building. I don't see how any student who actually understands uh, from that perspective is going to find it difficult to to get to get the mastery. And I'm just going to end by saying uh, a quote which I got from Elon Musk once when he was asked how he manages to assimilate a lot of knowledge. He said. The brain, actually, we do not understand that the brain does not like gathering information which is not useful. So once you enter into a room, you're going to notice almost every, you're going to see almost everything, but you'll notice just one thing, because the brain filters the things which are not interesting. Now, when you're teaching a student, and you're giving the student the theory, if the student does not know how that is going to be applied in real life by you giving the student the application and telling them, apply it at this point, that student's brain is going to tell itself subconsciously that this information you are giving to me is not useful and that's how the brain is going to forget it and the student is going to become forced to cram so that they can pass and not so that they want to know exactly how that theory is applicable in real life meanwhile everything we learn in school is supposed to be applicable in real life Definitely. all the theories all the concepts all the formulas everything we just need to make the brain understand that this thing is useful because you could actually use it in this thing in real life the brain is never ever going to forget that thing and it's a method that we actually implemented within our training, our training methodology, which I personally have actually been learning from because uh, I, read, uh, I read at least 100 pages every day and I assimilate the knowledge very well using just that same methodology. And we put it within our Maxwell, within Maxwell training. It works very well, tremendously for the students, which is one of the reasons why we are getting uh, a lot of students registering for the program mm -hmm. based on the feedback which they are getting from their classmates and everyone around. Definitely, and uh, I know such should be costly because there's no training that is. <laughs> is it within range? It's Just extremely within range, and okay. as a matter as a matter of fact, we began by uh, saying uh, uh, software engineering, um, web development, eight hundred and fifty thousand, mobile app development, one million and fifty thousand. However, after executing and seeing how effective the students were becoming, and then getting a lot of projects, because we've also got the engineering side, we've got the cyber security side where we, g we execute projects for different companies. We got a very huge influx of projects that it was very difficult for us to execute and we couldn't execute without our students because with the amount of mastery they're getting and the kind of mastery they're getting, they're the best people we could use in executing our projects. We decided that since a lot of students, some students are gonna be finding this uh, expensive to be able to hook onto. Mm -hmm. What we said was that we started a program whereby you come and do a deposit of 100,000. When you do that deposit of 100,000, we begin by training you for a month. After a month, we put you on internship. And by the way, all our internships are paid. When you're doing an internship with us, you're being paid for that internship. While you're working with us and being paid for the internship, we are converting your payment into the fees for the next Wow. Um, for the next course which you're going to be doing. And that's how you'll be able that's to complete what should have said in the beginning. that entire <laughs> <laughs> one million. So everybody should know that it's a place to rush to. Absolutely, it is. <laughs> because there are many people who have a lot of things out there. They are intelligent. They don't have people to sponsor them, but they want to do this. And so when you just when you just hear the training process, you know definitely it's costly. Because when you see some of those offices, you see their equipment, you know it's costly. But like with such opportunities like you know you're doing internship but you'll be paid and it's converted there are many people who want to do even for here Ab absolutely yeah. so anybody who is even though it's a program that uh when, once we get the amount the number that we're looking for we are going to revert back so if there's anybody who's interested i'll be i'll be encouraging you to uh, to rush and pick it up mm -hmm. you could just google maxwell training or you go to maxwelltraining.net to be able to enroll with that we are also available on social media if you get there you'll be able to become one of us there is a catch though because for every free thing there is always a catch <laughs> definitely the catch and which we are not scared of saying it, we say it very clearly because we are a company we are a business and mm -hmm. we need to satisfy our clients mm -hmm. the catch is if you come in that 100,000 is guaranteed that you are not going to come in and you're going to be lazy and we are going to waste our time with you if you come in and we discover that you are not up to speed, not in terms of intelligence, but in terms well, of because dedication. You're just lazy, yeah. Exactly. There's some people who come there just because the parents have sent them. They mm -hmm. don't want to go to school. They mm -hmm. want to scam. They want to do some other thing. And they come there. They are not interested in it. We are not going to be continuing with such people. Right, so if you're going to be coming there, make know that you're coming within a company setting. 
you're not coming you'll not meet a teacher who is going to have a discipline master who is going to be telling you come to class <laughs> yeah, every day run up, do if you're given a task that. you do not execute the task it comes you'll be judged just like every other intern and every other training and what happens uh, just like every other internal worker and what happens to a worker who is not executing the worker uh, gets fired yeah. because the company has supposed to um, has supposed to deliver to its to its customers that's mm -hmm. the biggest catch there if you're coming and you're very uh, thank God that uh, so far we haven't had anybody who's been dropped because every single person who comes is very enthusiastic and has shown a lot of zeal and desire to go through the entire program and that's how they've been going through they are being paid the payment is being converted mm -hmm. for those who actually fortunately came in and paid everything all of them are paid internships after they execute they get paid including students who are still in school they're actually going to school working with us being trained by us and then still making a living out of that if you come to the office by 2 p.m a lot of the students from the universities around who are working with us you're going to see them around the offices because they've come to get projects that they can work on mm -hmm. so they can have something to be able to i don't know fall back too it's very important exactly because their, their education is still ahead absolutely thank you very much for your time this is a sector we, we need to be talking about over and over because uh, it seems the future it seems as if the future lies ahead within technologies industrialization how it impacts people in africa the role and uh, the role it has in industrialization our cont industrializing industrializing i beg your pardon our continent is very important Thank Absolutely. You. I'll be always glad to talk about this whenever uh, you want me to be available. Thank you for having us. The program was uh, streaming live on all our social media outlets. Thank you for joining us. Mr. Cedric, thank you for your time. Thank I you so much for having me. I know to be the me. boss, it's always difficult to go out. <laughs> 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 thank you for taking our time to be with us on the program. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Stay tuned to programs on African media. We'll have yet another edition tomorrow with another journalist and another topic. God bless you all. Bye-bye.